So the next feature that we've got that we've updated is our documents or our document manager. We've added a new feature in there where if you've got a welded member, you can select all of the components that are associated to that in the document manager. So I'm going to open the document manager. Be mindful that I am in multi-user environment. It means that my document data is being stored in the cloud right now. The speed is a little bit slower than what you would expect. And this project has not had any of its documents added. So it will go through all of the documents in this um, zone or the project and it will add them to the cloud servers database. And it may take a little while for it to actually gather this information. So now you can see that we've got all of our components and our assemblies inside the document manager as it's been collected. So you can see all the sections and vendor items. So if we picked a column, so let's come down and we can see a column here. We can see one column. If you double click on the row, you can see that that's a column. And I checked it as a welded member. Our new feature is select welded member packs. So anything that is a pack in a major welded member set, and you want to issue that as a pack, this is the way to be able to select all of its associated component drawings click on that and you'll see as I scroll through that there are other ticked items in the list which are related to all the drawings that are associated to that column. So we've got plates included there and there will be a section for the column most likely. There it is there. You can see that the column section has been included. Now this works really well for projects that have lots of plates in a welded frame. I've just recently completed a feeder and the feeder frame had 70 plates to make the feeder frame. So if I wanted to issue the feeder to go into checking or I wanted to issue the feeder to go into fabrication, I would select the feeded welded member and then I would select uh, the select welded member pack and that would select everything that's associated to that feeder. And now, because I've got them selected, I can then go through the process of um, swapping out the sheet template from my library to my projects sheet template. I can insert bill of materials and I can save it as a PDF, a DWG, DXF. I can update its revision and change its custom properties. And then if I wanted to, I could leave them open and then commit them. So then through that whole process of me selecting all those items, it will then create all of the documentation that I need to hand over. I can also issue the documents through the document manager. I'm going to cover that process next so that you are aware of how uh, issuing documents work and how to obtain the history of those issued documents.